Helminthiasis is a parasitic worm infection, which affects humans and other animals. Helminthiasis is very common. It affects around 25% of world population. Soil transmitted helminthiases are the most common intestinal worms infecting humans. Soil transmitted means transmission of the parasitic infection happens via contaminated soil. Soil transmitted helminths live in the intestine and their eggs are passed in the feces of infected persons. If person defecates outside, or not keep appropriate hygiene, there is high chance that people ingest this worm eggs and they will become infected. This can happen when hands or fingers, that have contaminated dirt on them are put in the mouth or by consuming vegetables and fruits that have not been carefully cooked, washed or peeled. Three most common soil transmitted worm exist. Ascaris, the most common. Infects more than billion people in the world. Second most common is whipworm. And third is hookworm. Signs and symptoms. Most parasitic infections are mild and have shown no symptoms. Ascaris can have mild abdominal discomfort. Once a year passage of clearly visible worms on close inspection in the stool. In severe cases it can block intestinal lumen and cause grow problems among children. It can also cause bloody sputum and cough also pulmonary infiltration. In the blood eosinophils can be elevated. But eosinophils is not specific for helminthiasis. Eosinophilia also can be in case of asthma and allergic reactions. The standard method for diagnosing ascariasis is by identifying ascaris eggs in a stool sample using a microscope. Hookworm infection. Most people infected with hookworms have no symptoms. Some have gastrointestinal symptoms, especially persons who are infected for the first time. The most serious effects of hookworm infection are blood loss because of intestinal infection, leading to anemia, in addition to protein loss. The standard method for diagnosing the presence of hookworm is by identifying hookworm eggs in a stool sample using a microscope. People infected with whipworm can suffer light or heavy infections. People with light infections usually have no symptoms. People with heavy infections can experience frequent, painful bowel movements that contain a mixture of mucus, water, and blood. Rectal prolapse, when the rectum sags and comes out of the anus, can also occur. Children with heavy infections can become severely anemic and may grow more slowly. Treatment, the drug of choice for three above-mentioned parasites are albendazole and mebendazole. Infections are generally treated for one to three days. Iron supplements may also be prescribed if the infected person has anemia. Prevention. One of most important preventive measures are issues of wash, which means water, sanitation and hygiene. The reduction of open defecation is important. Also stopping the use for human waste as fertilizer. Food hygiene, wearing of shoes, regular deworming of pets, and the proper disposal of their feces.